Hey guys, welcome back to Crosshair Garage. Also known as, I lost my damn tape measure garage. Drop and shit garage. Where'd I put that tool garage? Damn, that's an ugly weld garage. The single never run garage. And more commonly known as today, I am out of gas garage. So, that's where we're at. I'm out of gas. Uh, it is, what is today? Saturday. Uh, I got to meet my son. We're going to dinner for my birthday. Hey, thanks for the happy birthdays. I appreciate it. Anyway, um, so between going to the dentist, my birthday, Thanksgiving's coming up. It was my mom's birthday. Uh, it, you know what? There's Veronica. It was her birthday. Hey, happy birthday, Veronica. Um, I haven't seen you, but I dropped. I sent you a present. Present. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, so here's what we got going on. Here's where we're at. I was able to get a lot of the finish welding done. Um, still got to clean up. I came in here and, you know, box those ends up. So it wasn't just, you know, that tubing hanging out there. Uh, did some, you know, there's welds. That's what I'm saying. There's welds going on here. Um, anyway. I still got, I still need to get down into this section here on all these. I want to, want to box all this in. I don't know if you can see, oh, you know what, let's go over here. I want to box all that in, you know, obviously clean up those welds, whatnot, um, on all four sides. That's what I have happening right now, but I can't do it because I don't have gas and I can't get gas till Monday. At the earliest uh, depends on when I'm guys where I live I can't just pop over and get some gas it doesn't work that way so I gotta wait till I'm working and I'm driving by there and I'll throw that cylinder in the back of my work van and I'll grab some gas let's see I, I did get a couple things this this came in the mail from Am Amazonian by the way, my garage is an absolute, look, look at all this grinder dust. Can you, can you see all that? I mean, I've been working, fellas, and I'm not going to clean out the garage until I push this out to put the body on because there's just, I still got more grinding to do. I don't see a point. In, yeah. But this is, I got the lube locker. So this is for the, uh, ooh, it's kind of damaged. Um, Ford's okay, yeah. So, this is apparently the correct one for the uh rear differential. I'm not, I don't like leaks, so I spent a little extra money to get the what I got two. They, they sent me two of them. Is there a third one in there? No, but. We have stickerage. All right. So I don't know how I gas gets installed dry. No gas gets installed dry. No sealant required. Will not split or screwed, extrude that word during installation. Full perimeter elastomeric beading. Elastomeric beading. Metal based material coated with rubber. Superior torque retention. So, I was I supposed to get two, or did I just, you know? No, I was supposed to get one, I think. Either way, I got two, so you know that's that's pretty awesome. But they, uh, I read all the reviews. Apparently, this is the one to get to prevent leakage. It's got all these different little O-ring or whatever you want to call them, O-rings or things on it. Um, so. That's something we're done welding on the rear end, so that's something we can do, and we can we can get that on there. What are we gonna do with this sticker? Hey, Lube Walker, sponsor me. Uh, anyway, lost my train of thought. So, I still I'm gonna continue with the cleanup on the frame and everything on my own 
I'm not gonna do that on camera because again, it's boring. I don't even, like I say, I don't even like doing it. Yeah, let's uh, check out this paint. My Walmart paint that I got. This is Krylon Fusion All-in-One Hammered Finish. Hammered Finish. Um, fast drying, maximum rust protection, any surface. It's got a no peel guarantee. So I sprayed a little bit here, see how I liked it. All right, so it will, it will scrape off with your fingernail, but still, I like it, I'm fine with it. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna do the whole frame yet. I need to finish everything. And I'm only gonna go up as far as the body is gonna sit because the rest, obviously, we still got a lot of work to do on. There are a few things we can do to prepare ourselves for the body coming on to the chassis. So let's get with that. I do apologize about the shape of the garage, guys. Gator grip garage. Ow. Get us a speed wrench, see what we can do. So let's get this uh, fuel pump and everything out of the way. Um, Attach anything at this point. Up here we got the uh, filter and the regulator. Breaks out a pair of the Chanel locks, not to be confused with the Gucci locks. Successful and garbage. So our fuel system is out. What kind of pump is this? a facet. Check this out. So this is, I've never heard of this, compatible with gasoline, diesel, biodiesel, E85, blended alcohol, and fuel additives. It's got this nice little pre-filter and uh, then I, they have the post filter also. It's a nice little setup. If this still works, we might use this. Probably not. We're probably going to use the uh, the manual one off the 289. I apologize. This video is going to be a little haphazard because I'm just kind of jumping around doing what I can because I want to keep moving. I want to keep grooving. I want to keep... There was a song in there, sure, I'm thinking. All right, guys. So we got us a charge battery on the old skill saw here. Got a used up uh, Hercules blade on it. Let me see what we got happening here. I think if I cut right here, I think I'll be able to get this steering box out of the way. Let's see if old Gator Grip can take care of that. I'll tell you what, you do not want to test the Gator Grip. That thing is just badass. Garbage. My God, this thing needs a good power washing, guys. Well, this is all out of the way. These were fairly new uh, brake lines on this, so I am trying to save on them in case I need any of them, which I doubt, but you never know. All right, brake line out. What do we got here? What is this? We have got a negative cable. Let's get it out of here. Negative cable, that's a, that's a nice, negative cable so we'll be saving on that but we got to take negative cable out you know i just don't like your attitude negative cable freaking half glass empty type of cable so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and get this off from this uh distribution block yeah i'm wearing welding gloves because i can't find my other gloves and it's cold i need gloves winter's here guys which makes this project no fun at least not until we get the body back on and I can get everything back in the garage. I can close the door and then there's a vent right there. I'll open that up and we will have a slightly heated garage. But I'm not opening it up right now because piston's still going outside. There he is. What'd you get into? Something scare you? <laughs> what was out there? Piston likes to mess around, but he doesn't like to find out, you know, so. Hi, right, three days later, I decided to use the gator grip. Yeah, 
You know how it goes with these brake lines, guys. One wrong twist, it's over. You know, not that that should matter. We're not going to use these brake lines, so. But I'm kind of a hoarder when it comes to parts. Brake line out. Cutest little master cylinder in the world. Oh, look at that bad boy. She's just squirting it. That's what she said. That's what she said. You see that? It's like me trying to pee at 3 a.m. Little bitty one. We'll save on that. So guys, I'm sitting here trying to think what we can do. Really what I'm doing is procrastinating on going outside because it's cold. I do need to get a uh, some sort of bucket. Butter. Bucket. I have a butter bucket upstairs. Save those things. You know, if you use country crock or whatever it is, I I think that's what I use. I save them. I clean them out. They're good to keep. They're good for storing stuff in. Man, we are going to have to go outside. That's all there is to it. What I want to do outside, in case you all are wondering, is I want to figure out how far forward, when we set the body on here, how far forward, we're going to figure out which mount. And we may wind up doing something, we may wind up cutting this off. Um, pro probably, probably might as well um, for the, uh, for the break, uh, for the master cylinder. Because we're not going to reuse that master cylinder, obviously. It's like the smallest master cylinder in the world. We're going to be running four wheel disc brakes on this. We, we can't use that, you know, plus there's no booster to it, you know? Um, but you know, I was also thinking about maybe getting one of the ones like, uh, you know, they sell for the model A's and stuff to mount down here. And I don't know what all that consists of. If I need, I may be able to reuse that. So I got, I don't know. I got to look into that. That's something that I'm trying to hold off on because I may be able to reuse it. Um, I had some crazy ideas on where to start to slow down the bleeding on this project because this project guys I am not lying to you this project when I bought it was running and driving my idea was I'm gonna four link it straighten up some rust issues and put it on bags and drive it and well you see where we spiraled into I mean, it's just, it's gotten so out of hand at this point. I mean, it's just, it's a sinking ship. We gotta, we gotta stop the bleeding at some point. Um, but I don't know where at this point. Yeah, th this project should have been done six months ago um, from where I wanted it to be. But we got a little crazy with it. On the next one, next project is not gonna get nearly as in depth as this. Well, that's why I say now. You know how that goes. You buy something and you're like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna do a couple things to it. And then next thing you know, you got the body off the frame, you got the chassis stripped down, kind of like we're sitting right now. So anyway, what I want, obviously my rear four is shot, which I don't care about. I never did care about because I knew we were doing the lowering on it. I knew some things were gonna have to change. So that rear four, I need to figure out where it comes up to. And I need to go ahead and cut that rear floor out so that when I get some people, by the way, I'm looking for some volunteers. I have one, maybe two volunteers. Um, I already uh, I volunteered Veronica to come run camera for that uh, day. But we're going to lift the body, put it on here. But when we do that, I need to figure out where the body right now as it is comes to. I'm guessing that it comes to here but I may be wrong, it may only come to here because that's the point at which I need to stop with the paint, you know? I need to, or I need to make sure I'm painted up to that point. Hi, Piston, what's up? This cute little guy, look at, look at this. He's the cutest little guy ever, but he's so damn rotten. All right, go on. Do not lick the brake fluid, Jesus. I'm procrastinating, guys. What's your all thoughts on things? What's your all thoughts on the world? What's going on, you know? Um, obviously, we got to get into body work soon, too. Body work is going to come next after all this for the simple fact that, you know, we'll probably throw the transmission rebuild in there. Yeah, we're spending a lot of money, and we need to slow that down for a second. We need to slow it down. Man, my scissor's broken. Welcome, bro Broken Scissor Garage. <sighs> anyway.
What in the actual? Okay, so this is really cool. I don't know how this fell, but this is, as you can see, a paddle. Now, my father was a member of quite a few car clubs. He was a member of the Model A Restorers Club. Um, he was a member of the Ohio Valley Region Model A Ford Club. And he was also a member of the Horseless Carriage Club. Now, the Horseless Carriage Club was mostly Model T's and stuff. Um, I don't really think there was any A's involved in the Horseless Carriage Club. But, so, anyway, after he passed away, I got all these cool, all this cool stuff that the club had done. Um, you know, just little little plaques and stuff like that. Um, and he won so many mileage awards. Because my dad, if, if, if I haven't told you before, my dad was a badass, all right? So, anyway, he put some of his mileage awards. We lost one. One of them fell off during the move. And I think that one was 20,000 miles. But they gave him these little plaques, 5,000, 10,000. And I think he hit the 20,000 mark, um, which is the one that I'm missing. Oh, yeah, so my father one year took his Model A from here in Kentucky. He drove it all the way to uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Um, he used to drive up to the, uh, uh, the, the big swap meet up in Hershey and stuff. Um, yeah, he, he used to do a lot of cool stuff. So I got the, the bluegrass uh, region. This was something someone painted. Um, someone gave him this. I, I don't know where, where that came from. I also have this, which was a cutout for one of their shows that they were doing. So the magnets that went on the side of his car when, when he would drive in parades and stuff. And it was just all kinds of memorabilia, memorabilia around here um, from my father being in these really, you know, kind of neat clubs. And this was one of them. This was, it says, up a creek without a paddle. Now you have a paddle in case you wind up in a creek stuck. Ha ha. Horseless Carriage Club 2005. And so they gave these to these guys because these guys would drive these things literally through creeks. Like it was insane. Um, you know, stuff you, you know, that stuff that old JB couldn't get his uh, Dodge through. These guys were, were driving through in Model A's and Model T's. Now, don't, don't let that sun fool you. It is freezing out here. So. We have a body mount here. Two, three. So it looks like we got five body mounts on that section, which is the body. So that makes sense. So as Deadpool says, let's count them down. Let's count them down. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think that's correct. I think it's to this one. Yeah, uh, it's to this one. So that's where we gotta go. That's how much I gotta clean up the frame. I gotta clean up the frame and get it painted probably up to here. Wait, you can't see where I'm pointing. Up to here. I guess we could go cut that floor out. What do you think? By the way, guys, real quick, you know how I slammed on benchmarker braces? which I still stand by that. Well, I ordered off of Amazon these Pegatech cutoff disc. And I will tell you what, these things are freaking amazing. These are the best cutoff disc I've ever seen. Now you do, they do run a little slower. Um, they don't cut as fast, but my God, the, the life on these things is amazing. So, and they're cheap. There, I, I think this is 25, you get this little tin, and there's like, I think 25 of them in there. And I wanna say I paid right around, I don't know, $24 for them. So they were less than a dollar a piece. By the time you throw tax in there, they were probably a dollar a piece, maybe a little bit more, but <clears throat> well worth it. I broke one out the other day, did quite a bit of cutting on it. And I mean, I, I did quite a bit of cutting, cutting through quarter inch and everything. And I'm still, I still got a lot of life in this thing. Maybe lost, uh, let's say an inch off of it. So if you want some good one, again, y'all know I'm not sponsored, 
I'm look. Do you think anybody's sponsoring me? Come on. But I'm telling you, buy these if you want some good cutoff wheels. Well worth it. And you get this nifty little tin. I mean, you can use that tin for something else later on. I don't, I don't know. That's how I am. I save everything. I save all these little tins and stuff. And I'll shove it full of washers and uh, something like that. I don't know. overall in this thing is not in bad condition that floor was rough but we don't need it anyway um 
So we saved right there, which is, you know, right where the front seats are. Which are probably going to be the only seats in this thing. So. And obviously this thing is pretty light. Here's what does bother me though. Is obviously we, we lost some body mounts. Um, so we're gonna have to figure that out. Yeah, this one. More than likely, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some one inch uh, square tubing and build up a four. I wanna, you know, I'll weld around my perimeter, create me create myself some body mounts. Some one inch square tubing, some quarter inch stock. Build my own body mounts, it is what it is. So the four is out, that's a big deal. I'm happy about that. So we're getting real close. I gotta finish up some stuff like I said back here. And then we're going to roll it out get a couple people over here to help me lift it put it back on the body probably have to do something to space it out so that the body doesn't you know because I don't have mounts in the back now for it to sit on they're apparently on the floor and hopefully the wheels will, will clear I don't know if they will or not yet that's something we got to figure out we got so much to figure out it's unreal but I think that's about all I can do for this video for you guys I apologize I wish there was more I could do but with lack of gas, I, you know, I just, I got to continue on with the, uh, you know, the, the cleaning up and the painting and next weekend, I think next weekend might be Thanksgiving. So it's going to be hard to get somebody over here. I don't know. Uh, we may not get a video next week guys. And I apologize about that. It's just, the way it is uh you know or if nothing else I'll, I'll give you an update of where i'm at and we'll see we'll see how's that i'll just give you an update if we can't get a video of the body going back on and it coming back in here if nothing else i can grab the escape and pull this out listen uh y'all do me a favor and hit the subscribe and all that stuff and there's my socials right here uh TikTok, instagram if you want to email me crosshair garage 21 all of it's Crosshair Garage 21 because somebody decided to take Crosshair Garage. Don't know why. Love you guys. Y'all stay awesome. And I'll catch you on the next one.